anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is the most commonly injured ligament of the knee. It's one of four stabilizing ligaments of your knee. You ready for this? There's the PCL, posterior cruciate ligament, the MCL, the medial collateral ligament, and the LCL, the lateral collateral ligament, in addition to this ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament. Your ACL is located in the center of your knee and runs from the back of your femur or thigh bone to the front of your tibia or shin bone. Your cruciate ligaments cross like an X. That's why we call them cruciates. And they're in the center of your knee. These cruciates, the ACL and the PCL, are responsible for limiting the front back movement as well as rotation of your knee. Those collateral ligaments, the MCL and the LCL, they limit side to side movement. You depend on that ACL to walk, run, but especially to jump, twist, and pivot. ACL tears anterior cruciate ligament tears can occur by themselves. We call these isolated tears, but frequently they can occur with some other injuries, such as injuries of the MCL or the LCL or the meniscus. Let's look at the front view of the right knee. We have two ligaments that cross in the middle of the knee. These are called the cruciate ligaments because they cross. We have first the anterior cruciate ligament, and then run it, running behind it, its partner, the posterior cruciate, PCL. If we draw a side view of this knee, it looks something like this. What happens when you tear your anterior cruciate ligament. Well, most of the time you tear it right through the middle. And when that happens, you now have the ability of this leg bone to move forward and you have an unstable or loose knee. When that happens, it needs to be fixed. ACL tears are most commonly caused by sports-related injuries. However, anyone who has one of these mechanisms of injury can tear their ACL. Some common causes or mechanisms include a sudden deceleration, like when you stop or slow down quickly, a hyperextension of the knee, or a sudden pivot or change of direction. I think that, I think it was a freak thing. I mean, I've been taking it out a hell of a lot of times in, in fights recently, and that hasn't happened. It was a freak thing, but he won the fight. I'm not going to take the win away from him. Um, but, you know, the, the, the injury, I mean, that, that could happen. You know, you see guys you know, step wrong in the octagon, and it, and it happens. But, I mean, I don't know. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he initiated the takedown. That's how I got hurt. Um, but yeah. it's kind of just splitting hairs, honestly. Yeah. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm working out quite a bit. I'm doing a lot of physical therapy. Um, not able to run yet. Um, that's, that's coming soon. Um, can't get back in the gym. Can't really hit pads or anything like that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's limited. Yeah, I'm not in any rush to come back. Um, you know, it's, it, when I'm ready, I'm gonna come back. When I feel like I can get out there and compete to the best of my ability, I'll be back in the octagon. Issues that came with the physical issue that no, led was, to more physical issues. It was the cascade of trying to figure out why I was so sad with all these things that I earned around me. That mm. I already had everything that I thought, like, I, those were all just dreams to me and they happened so quick. Like at 20, you know, I mean, I didn't get my house till later, but when I got those things, it's like, I really, I, why are you so, I was still sad is my point. Like I was still, I had my depression that, that was hitting me. And, and that's, so many people in this world are dealing with depression. Like it's a huge catastrophic problem across the planet. And um, I definitely, it's in my, it's in my bloodline on both sides of my family. And it's something that everybody, not just myself, deals with on a daily basis, I think, in certain people's lives. And that hit me very hard. And I didn't understand why it hit me so much harder now after I stopped competing. Like, why am I, why is, why 
is it so much worse now? Well, the reason is my body was used to the active, the activity, just go, go, go. And I, what I realized is I turned off all my emotional, spiritual, and mental issues with exercise to where I never, ever, ever dealt with them, ever. I only physically worked them out. So my physical was perfection. I was a, I'm a world champion, monster killer, whatever you want to call me in your own perspective mind, right? But emotionally, physically, and spiritually, I was a cricket. And I never understood that until I was hurt, trapped in my own body like a prison cell. Couldn't train, couldn't run, couldn't walk, couldn't bend my leg, laying on the couch, eating pain pills, realizing, man, unless you train, unless you compete, you hate yourself. You hate yourself. You're, you're a piece of shit in your own mind without those things, without the beautiful girlfriend, without the beautiful house, without the nice cars, without the big money to show people you hate yourself. So what am I really doing? Why am I doing this? I lost sight that the whole reason we're fighting is, is it's a spiritual, emotional, physical, mental battle that helps you grow as an individual and as a human being. It's not just to have these things that you think will make you happy. You have to learn those things through the process. And now I can fight with a peace of mind knowing how good I am without fighting and how great I am with it too. And um, that's, that's what this thing's about. Uh, all these fights, all these, me attacking those challenges, coming back and winning and getting my belt back. Um, that could only happen because I let go of control of the things I couldn't control. So you come back, you fight Mitsugaki, you put on the performance of your career, just destroy him. It was just a whirlwind, wild, crazy first round stoppage. Then what happens? Well, that was... That was a big deal for me because he'd never been stopped like that before, Mizugaki, at this point. At this point, he was on a five-fight win streak. He hadn't lost since the whole time I had been hurt. And he was, he was beating the top guys. So to beat him was going to tell me, you're good enough, let's go for the title. And I beat him and I said, okay, here I am. Let's go for that title. didn't matter what I thought. I had to prove it. And nobody's going to believe you after four injuries the way I had them. So I just had to go do it. 